Hey, up viewers and viewers, this is Welcome to Tracks, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, General Red Strategist. That's a slightly different intro to what I usually do. That's kind of thrown me there. Right, Tracks, everyone. Uh, not played this for a while now, have I? So, um, you know, it's October as I'm going to record this. Halloween is almost upon us. And I thought, actually, I haven't done Tracks for a while. I fancy doing a, a little Halloween special, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, God, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just got gas from my tea coming in my throat. As you can see in the top right there, since I last played, there has been... Well, there have been updates, which have added loads of new stuff. Apparently trams are now a thing in this game, among other stuff. Now, if we're going to do a uh, Halloween-themed map, what shall we actually do? Um, I'm thinking which of these shall we go with? We won't go with the clear one. We could go with the night one, because I think that would probably kind of work, wouldn't it? Uh, for this one. Or maybe Bedroom Night, that's a Christmas edition of that. Or maybe go with the moon one. Uh, no, I won't go with the moon one. I'll go with the clear one. Night. Like this. Here we go. Oh, yes. Free play. Thank you. We'll do that. Oh, there we go. Yep, I have to press play, don't I? <laughs> I uh, it's been so long since I last played that uh, I need to sort of remember uh, what the deal was in this game. But I was thinking, you know, we could have a nice sort of chill chill session, basically, ladies and gentlemen, of just uh, playing around in this and, um, well, you know, just uh, having a bit of fun, basically. Oh, there you go. There's the tram, you see? So that's what the tram looks like now. That's pretty awesome. Lovely. Uh, what we could also do, actually, is um, maybe just uh, split the grid down a bit. Five times, maybe? Do you think that would be all right? Do you think that would work? I'll put it up to six, but that's fine. Yeah. I think that would probably be okay, wouldn't it? All right, let me just get rid of that for the moment. Let's take a look at some of the new stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So, um... You know, if we go along sort of here on the buildings tab, for instance, yeah, got like these kind of like suburban sort of buildings now. Unfinished house, modern houses, bungalows, cottages, cabins, all kinds of stuff. And I think there's more if we go further along. Um, cinema hotel, they're new. Banks and universities, they feel new. Maybe they'll have to come back to Pretty System at some point. An unfinished building, a fire watch tower, oil rigs, football stadiums, petrol stations. Motels? My goodness. There's all sorts of stuff we could potentially be building here. You know what? I'm actually kind of regretting uh, putting this down, but, well... Nah, nah, it's fine. Let's uh, build some stuff around it. I'm wondering, actually, with the fact that it's a tram, I, was, I just want to see if there's something I can do. Um, where was the road piece? Was it uh, here on construction? There it is. The road. Um, yes, this like so. Can you sort of, like, put the tram... Oh yeah, you could have like the tram kind of going down the middle. You know like how uh, streetcars kind of do and all that? Uh, Split the grid placement like that. Yeah, here we go. No, it's not doing it. Hold on, it's going on there. I don't want it to. I want it yeah. like this. Nope, two. Oh, there we go. Oh, let not go further than that. That's really weird. Doesn't seem to want to, does it? That's very strange. Decorations like, oh, diagonal lines. Maybe we take off the constant grid. Maybe that'll work. Hold on. Yeah, I need to sort of figure this out again. I mean, actually, I haven't said that. The road, ooh. Jeez, no, I didn't want like that. Oh, you can't put it on there. Never mind. You can't have it on the tracks, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot that that was a thing. You can't actually freaking do. Okay, which is unfortunate. And again, we could just sort of have maybe some of these buildings like along the edges. Or maybe uh, get some hedgerows down, in fact. Because we've got pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns, they are actually a thing um, in this. So maybe what I could do is put those along like this. Some little like, hedge bits, like so. Along the sides of the track. We'll make ourselves something nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are your plans for Halloween, eh? Thinking about doing something interesting? Taking the kids trick-or-treating or whatever? Assuming you have kids, that is. I mean, well, no, maybe you do, maybe you do. You never know. Um, right. See, this is why I really need to snap the freaking grid. There we go. Right, that's better. That's now working a bit better, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, actually, what we could do is sort of um, have kind of like a couple of arches like that. Have like a green arch section, a green tunnel, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, plans for Halloween and all that. You're getting ready for the trick and treat. Tr I think said the trick and treaters. Trick or treaters, rather. There's bloody kids. 
everyone uh, hates them. <laughs> Actually, no, we don't. Uh, right. But yes, I suppose uh, people will be stocking up, of course, on um, the stuff that they essentially will need for Halloween, the sweets and whatever for the little kiddies. Right, maybe we can sort of... There we go, yeah. Put the jack-o'-lanterns in like this. You see, and this can be our first section. Like that. And do it on the other side too. The spooky green tunnel of jack-o'-lanterns. Here we are. Yeah, I think I've... Um, well, I think I've always kind of said before that, um, you know, I would... Uh, I would love to try and do some more of this game, but I just never kind of get around to actually doing so. Uh, can I grab that, please? Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll sort of curve this around like so. Have it kind of go over here, yeah, like that. And we'll just sort of, you know what we'll do, actually? I'll just chunk down sort of like a crazy kind of track. Um, I'll have it sort of come up, actually, as well. Uh, we'll have sort of like a, a raised area that goes along here like so. And then down again. It'll do. And then curve it back around. Back up here. Yeah, I'm just going to throw down a track first before anything else. It's not going to be anything particularly special. Um, but I think it'll be something, I don't know. Well, we'll try and go for something that looks reasonably awesome, I guess. Or was that a corkscrew track that you can actually get? Was it on construction? Oh, anti-clockwise twist or a clockwise twist. Okay, interesting. Um, actually, whilst I'm here, I should put the supports along this bridge, like so, so it doesn't uh, look kind of weird. Yes, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'll need to put down some, like, um, what do we call them? What's the word I'm looking for? So, like, pieces. Um, Lighting pieces. God, Jesus Christ, I was like trying to think of the word then and it wasn't coming to me. Uh, right, let's see if we do... Can you go like an anti-clockwise twist on there? Oh, you can. You can have it like sort of going in all kinds of weird patterns then. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, right. Then we get a clockwise one. Ooh. Attach that on there. Yeah. Have something a bit weirder, you see? Makes it look uh, kind of interesting, doesn't it? Uh, right. Can I? chunk this on the end there. Yes, I can. Uh, I want to pull this... Mm, yeah, pull that in this direction, like so. And then... Oh, no. Didn't want to do that. And pull it out over here, like this. A bit further out. Pull it across. And then I think we'll have sort of twists that go down as well. That's what we'll do for our little Halloween... Halloween... Weensy special. Sorry. <laughs> what am I doing? C can I attach, please? Crap. It's not, I can't... I can't ooh, eh, ooh, eat. Right, hold on. Now that's going to go... Uh, bollocks. Unless what I do is, unless I put this sort of like there like that. Hang on. This might work better if I do it like this. And then build it up. Like so. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That works better. Yeah, it's the annoying thing sometimes about uh, doing the clockwise pieces in this game can be a little bit, well, not annoying, but... Fucking, no, stop. Come here. Pull this out. And then attach there. There we go. Oh, no, put that there. Thank you. All right, now that's um, looking better over there, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get ourselves a little few track support bits and bobs. It can sort of go like this, just to add some columns as a bit of a feature. Yeah, I will need to, um, by the looks of it, figure out how to... Oh, that's uh, on there. That's not what I wanted. Get rid of that. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how I can get some of the lights kind of higher up. Oh, I want the supports again, thank you. Like this. Ugh. It's gone through there. Oh, I'll do. That's fine with support. So it'll be okay. There we are. All right, so now what we need to do is just get track pieces and curl them round. Now, oh. whilst we, uh, you know, are building here, just thinking too, if there's any sort of interesting news here on the General Red channel at the moment. And, you know, truth be told, I mean, mostly when I do sort of channel news, I tend to just do that in my Surya Being Hunted series. But, you know, come to think of it, um, fact is, uh, on this sort of vaguely horror slash 
Halloween related subject. I talked about this in Sir actually um, quite sort of recently, but um, in horror game news, of course, Silvio 3. There's going to be a third Silvio game, ladies and gentlemen, which sounds like it's going to be very, very interesting. And um, it's one of those things which actually, you know, some of us may have kind of looked at that and thought, oh, it's an interesting choice to do a Silvio 3. Where are they going to kind of take it from there? Because, of course, Silvio 2 had quite the uh, <laughs> curious ending, shall I say. Um, what with the whole freaking turned out to be aliens all along thing and all that, which was... Uh, Quite sort of strange, but um, no. Apparently, the uh, next Silvio game is actually going to be set on another planet, sort of like an abandoned planet that looks a bit like Earth. Supposedly, is what uh, is going to be the deal with it. Which sounds kind of cool. Not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm wondering how it'll be. But the thing is, like, I mean, truth be told. Um, you know, by the looks of it, the the dev is going to bring back some of the mechanics from the original Silvio, which will be fantastic uh, if they do that. Because um, it'll really sort of... For example, I think um, the plan Nicholas Swanberg has is to bring back the gun mechanic in it, which certainly will be good, because the gun mechanic in the original Silvio was janky, admittedly, but it kind of gave the game sort of a bit of a charm of its own, to put it that way. At least I felt like that was the case anyway. Right, what I'm planning on doing here, ladies and gentlemen, is um, having like a spooky forest. Like a sort of camp. It's like Friday the 13th or something. <laughs> we'll put some people in there as well. Sadly, uh, you know, this is too innocent of a game to have any sort of Jason Voorhees-looking <laughs> characters in it. <laughs> right, I'll just stick all these pa uh, not palm trees, pine trees down all over the place, like so. I will be uh, wanting to put in some... Oh, God. That's not supposed to go there. Alright, I think that's enough trees in that area. Uh, can I get some lights, though? House lights... Light arches actually could work, couldn't they? We should put them... Hmm, should, how should I do this? Should I put them... Uh, here, maybe? No, that doesn't look right. There's got to be um, some kind of lighting system I could use in this area. Maybe... Uh, I guess bog standard lamppost, maybe. Just in the middle. I know it's going to look a little bit weird, but it's a bit of light. I might scatter actually a couple of these things around. It's like spooky lamps in the woods, like so. Just gets the place a bit better lit and all that. There we are. Like so. Yeah, I guess that'll be fine. I mean, to make it a bit more Halloween y, we really do need uh, more of those, whatchamacallums, jack o' lanterns. Just positioned in various points. Just, you know, so it's pretty obvious that this is indeed Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of that Christmas map that I, um, I did that time. Phil, I think, joined me for that one, didn't he? If I remember correctly. Uh, right. Let's take another one there. These things actually do sort of generate a bit of light of their own, don't they? These jack-o'-lanterns is. Uh, I'll put another one up there. There we go. Uh, I'll slide... Little one into that corner there. There we go. Yeah. So a spooky little camp. Let's put some people by it. Um, let's see, let's see. Teenagers. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Teens. You know, having a camp. Out in the woods at night. Telling ghost stories around the campfire. I wonder if... Oh, shoot. I just, oh, shoot. I'm getting rid of some of my teenagers by accident. I love how in this game all teenagers are either emo girls or guys with uh, <laughs> little tufts of hair coming out of them. All right, they're there, like that. So there's a little spooky green tunnel. I could actually maybe do with putting some lanterns by it. Uh, decoration is up here, what am I doing? Lamp post, rather. That's what I should say. Um, now, I should sort of put... I could put the lamp post sort of... Like this, maybe? Behind the pumpkins? Does that work? I think that works. It just adds a bit of light, that's all. Makes it look nice and fancy. So yeah, Silvio 3. Um, sorry, I'll go back to what I was talking about. Um, yeah, so apparently the subtitle for it is Silvio Black Waters. Which sounds very interesting, and I know, you know, like I said, people, people had sort of mixed opinions of... Um, Silvio 2, given that it had to kind of, well, the dev kind of had to take out a lot of um, the stuff from Silvio 1, 
which was unfortunate, but what can you do? I mean, at the end of the day, their Kickstarter, from what I understand, hadn't sort of um, reached the full amount of money that it needed to get to for him to be able to implement everything that he wanted to put into it originally, which is always unfortunate, but what can you do, eh? Yeah, I think these fairy trees, actually, are pretty good as well. They add a bit of extra colour, don't they? I know they're more Christmassy than Halloweeny, but uh, I don't know. They got some good colours to them, haven't they? Yeah, you see? Like the mix of colours there makes that look kind of awesome. You can always use the fairy light arches too. As long as you put more jack o' lanterns down, you're okay. But yeah, Silvio 3 uh, Black Waters it does look very interesting, and I think it's coming in um, 2024, I believe. Which, um, still a way off, but you know what? I mean, I can wait for that. That's fine. Fine by me, I say. And, you know, the name of it is also quite interesting as well. The fact it's called Black Waters, which um, makes one think that it... Um, hang on, I just want to see if I can chunk some of these down like so. That's a bit far off there, what am I doing? Um, yeah, the name of it is probably sort of an allusion to Juliet Waters, isn't it? The main character of the Silvio games. Um, just kind of wondering, if I put sort of blocks down on either side of this track like so... Uh, like that. These are all lined up. Ugh, they're not lined up. What am I doing? Hang on. Let me just uh, try that again. I'm like... Th hold on. I'm just going to line this up perfectly, that's all. Is that lined up there? Yes, okay. That's looking better. I'm just thinking I could sort of have uh, fairy light arches sort of strung between them. Uh, no, so saying, um, yeah, Silvio... Three should be quite uh, interesting. Like I say, the name definitely sounds like an allusion to the main character herself, old Juliet. Ooh, okay, do get us in there, please. Do no, no, do. And there we are, like that. Not like that. Sorry. Yeah, it'd be like a spooky fun house area that the uh, tram can go through. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna have to do all of this here. So yes, Silvio 3 definitely will be playing when it comes out on the channel. Because I did really love the Silvio games, and I know, um, you know, at one point I was thinking about doing a uh, bonus video, a discussion-based video, where I talked about the lore of the Silvio games and the story and all that. Trying to, like, piece together all the clues. Of course, uh, <laughs> never actually got around to doing that. So that's probably not going to happen. But then again, you never know, actually. If, uh, when Silvio 3 comes out, old, um, well, if it turns out to be good, then, um, you know, I could always actually do a bonus video after that, couldn't I? In which I, uh, basically talk about the lore of Silvio or whatever else have you. Here we go. Put some fairy trees along the edges, like so. Here, here. Keep rotating them around. Alright, let's put them there like that. Maybe get a couple of buildings in. A couple of new buildings, maybe, like these houses. Or the ooh, mansion, actually. Ooh, that's a big one. That could be like a big spooky mansion, couldn't it? Spooky doll's house kind of building. Chonk that in there like that. Okay, the branches of the fairy trees are kind of glitched into it a bit, but that's fine. That's fine, ladies and gentlemen. Be right. Um, pull that one back to sort of there. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to be able to see much of these buildings, so unless we can get the uh, house lights on top of them. Oh yeah, you can. They do sort of go on there. Again, these are more Christmassy decorations than Halloween, but... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It'll do. Yeah, put them there like that. Sure. It's a light source, you know. Just to make things look pretty. Oh, that's... Is that on properly? That's not on properly. That one there. I get rid of that? Yes, I can. Um, probably pull those back out like this. Oh, is it not lining up quite correctly? Oh, not quite. I don't think any of them are lined up, are they? Shoot. They're not. Well, fuck it. You know what I'll do instead? I'll just throw some friggin' lampposts down. That's what I'll do. Lampposts by the spooky entrances of these hoses. This is where the evil vampiric people, whatever you want to call them. That's where they live. We've got some uh, jack-o'-lanterns down too, like so. In there. And on the other side. 
Boom. There we go. I'm trying to think as well, actually, if there's any um, other upcoming horror games that uh, have taken my eye recently. can't quite think of any other than Silvio 3 off the top of my head, but um, I'm sure there are ones. I'm sure there are other ones that you guys have encountered as well out there. And you're probably all like, oh, Red, have you uh, seen this game? And I'll be like, yeah, it looks interesting or whatever. All right, there's another little section down there. Let's just uh, chunk some random buildings down. So like these new little houses, things like that. Like so. So do these, I wonder if these kind of come in like different colours, maybe. Do you reckon? Oh yeah, they do. Of course they do. Yeah, it's a bit like a little suburban neighbourhood over here that will have a large house. Yeah, let's get ooh, that fancy big boy. Nice. Nice, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what else? Bungalow? Yeah, we'll get one of these in. Over here, I do think. Very Nordic looking buildings, of course. Um, this has got like a little thatch roof on it, this cottage. That's kind of cute, isn't it? There we are. Uh, what else have we got? Time since I saved 20 minutes. Small cabin. Oh, oh, we definitely need like a little cabin in the woods area, maybe off over here, actually. Um, sort of put that there. Is there a large cabin as well? There was. Oh, that is a big one. Maybe we sort of uh, join them up like that, so it's kind of like one big cabin in the woods or something. <laughs> right, we'll get to that bit in a second. Um, what we want to do is maybe get some more of these fairy trees kind of around here, I do think. We'll need some lamp posts as well, but we'll get to that in a second. We'll also chunk down some jack-o'-lanterns, because why the heck not? Around there, around there, and around the back. There we are. Okay, that's looking decent. Put a few more over here. Maybe a couple in this sort of area there, like this around the back of the cottage. Hup. Lovely jubbly. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's taking shape, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? This here little map of ours. Right, lamp posts. Um, these ones, we'll use these ones here. Uh, just scatter a few of these down. They don't need to be in any sort of particular order. They can just go wherever. Um, put one sort of there, maybe. Maybe one on the corner as well. Maybe one sort of over there. One in there. And there. And there. And maybe one on that side too. Yeah. Right, jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, here we go. I wonder if any of the uh, house lights actually can fit on any of these little cottages or whatever. A um, couple of those. I think we'll chunk down a few of these jack-o'-lanterns in this area. So I think that would make sense, wouldn't it? To have quite a few of them. We could have one sort of <laughs> positioned there in the house. Kind of. Well, under the uh, under the lean-to at least. Um, stick another one there. Stick a um, couple in here. And one there, like that. Basically, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever need to make something look Halloween-y, just throw down friggin' pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns friggin' everywhere. Because that is basically all one needs. Right, put one in there. Ah, oh, look at that, there we go. It's looking good, looking good. Can we get um, house lights on top of these ones? Is that something that it can do? It feels like it should be able to, but maybe I need to um, snap the grid a bit more. No. I think it only really works with the default houses, doesn't it? Those things. Certainly it feels that way, anyway. Uh, we should actually use uh, maybe the modern and unfinished houses as well. We just have like a sort of spooky unfinished house over here. <laughs> Ooh, it's the spooky house. The haunted building site. <laughs> uh, okay, right. Uh, what else? Uh, what about some of these spiral bushes? I've not seen these before. I uh, could probably put like a couple of these down, couldn't we? Oh, yes. I like those. So spooky looking. <laughs> All right. Um, put another one in there. Uh, maybe another one sort of on the corner there. Yeah. Maybe uh, throw one. Maybe a couple of them actually down there too. It just adds a bit of an extra feature, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Something to uh, mix things up a bit. Make things look nice and peculiar. And strange. There we are. That's the French for strange, ladies and gents. Okay, right, so we've got that little uh, 
friggin' trick and treat, trick or treat neighbourhood over here. That's good. Here you come up through sort of like spooky mansions with the light tunnel. Let me have a sip of tea whilst I'm at it. Hmm. Ah, there we are. Uh, could also throw down maybe some pine trees as well, actually, couldn't we? Pine trees. When in doubt, throw down more pine trees. They remind me very much of the trees in uh, Don't Starve. The sort of trees that could suddenly turn into like the big tree monsters. Do you remember those? God, it's been a long time since I played Don't Starve, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a hell of a long time. It's funny because uh, I always remember back in the day when I did my Don't Starve playthrough. I remember buying the Reign of Giants and Shipwreck DLCs. And to this day, I've never played either of those. <laughs> I just bought them, then never did anything with them, basically. Which is uh, unfortunate. But what can you do? Who knows, maybe one day. Maybe one day I would go back to Don't Starve. Because it was a good survival game. High pressure, but it was good. And I'm sure there's been tons of freaking updates to it uh, since I last played. Just by way of, uh, you know, things like new characters... New mechanics, new things you can discover, stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a possibility. I don't have imminent plans to do so, though. If I did, it would be something probably in the distant future that I would uh, look to do, and all that, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'm just chunking down pine trees at the moment just to fill out some of the empty space. So I think uh, that would be ideal, wouldn't it, ladies and gents? There we are. See? Yeah. Like that. It just it's more of a feature, that's all, you know? Alright, so now we've got the spooky cabin in the woods over here that we need to uh, sort out. So I'm thinking maybe we put uh, some lamp posts down at either side like that. Um, what else could we actually have in this area? Just more spooky trees. Definitely more jack-o'-lanterns at the very least. Um, pull that one there. Uh, put one actually by there as well, like that. And then I think we just uh, maybe trunk down a few more tr fairy trees, like so. And then we'll put some uh, pine pines behind them. Let's have a line of ones like this. Here we go. See, my creative juices, they are flowing. Yeah, flowing nicely. All right, pine trees. Here we go. Uh, just chunk some down like so. Kind of like a little arch over here. And then bring them round. Yeah, so here we are. Here's our like little Friday the 13th cabin in the woods. Having said that, Friday the 13th wasn't a cabin in the woods, was it? It was people out camping or whatever. I have a confession to make. Uh, there's a lot of spooky movies, classic horrors, that I have never watched before. Friday the 13th, never watched it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, never watched it. The Saw movies... Never watched them. Nightmare on Elm Street? Never watched it. Final Destination movies? Never watched them. You guessed it. And part of the reason for that is just because I can't say I find them... I don't know. They don't really appeal to me. Because, you know, it, it's a type of horror that, I'll be honest with you, it's not a type of horror that I'm into. If you watch my Outlast playthrough, then, you know, you pretty much probably gathered that it's not my kind of horror, that sort of strong slasher type kind of thing. But, um, yeah. So, uh, some of you may well be uh, absolutely perplexed, and you may be thinking, Red, how have you never watched those movies? Well, I haven't, because I'm just not interested. I don't think. Yeah, if there's one thing I've learned from playing various horror games over time, it's that, you know, I have a specific taste in horror. I like uh, things like Lovecraftian stuff, psychological horror, backroom stuff I'm, you know, I'm very much into at the moment, which is all well and good. Uh, I think we could join up the pine forests over here, couldn't we? Like so. Join them together, so that way it'll, like, is one big forest. Is this whole map just going to be me putting down pine forests? I feel like it is. Big spooky pine forest. I think we need some over on this side, actually, as well, don't we? Just to fill it up. Over here. Yeah, there we go, like this, see? Yeah, I've kind of built like a big empty space in the middle of this train track, which I probably shouldn't have done. I probably should have had it kind of weaving back in on itself at various points, but uh, what can you do? Uh, put a few more of these over here, uh, like that. There we go. Okay, that's good, that's good. So you come through the forest from the spooky mansions up here, and then you've got 
a spooky cabin in the woods. All right, let's put um, maybe some more people down. I think we've got tons of like new people, haven't we? Or at least new characters. We could put in soldiers. Oh yeah. I wonder if they were there when they added the aircraft carrier. I don't know. Uh, no, we're not going to put them though. Uh, what about? I think we just go for more teenagers. <laughs> Why the hell not? Uh, it's like, ooh, teenagers have discovered the strange cabin in the woods, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go inside, there might be an axe-wielding murderer in there. Um, what else? We got any vehicles, actually, we could put in? Oh, maybe actually, hang on. We give them, like, a summer SUV. They were on, like, a road trip or something. And they found their way <laughs> out here. They got lost in the woods on a road trip. You see, that's the story we're going with there. But of course, this is track, so, you know, it's a fairly innocent little game. So, it's highly unlikely there's actually any killer hiding in there or anything like that. Which is fine, you know. It's an innocent game. We don't want killers here. It's not that mad. Alright. Chunk these in over here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Like this. Yeah. My solution to making everything more Halloween-y is just to put more trees down, in essence. That seems to be all I can really think to do. <laughs> Alright, uh, pull this out over here, like so. Get some in that gap there. Here, 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 and here. I think maybe I should extend the green tunnel. Yeah, I might actually do that, to be honest. Might make this green tunnel a bit longer. Uh, what I... Actually, no. No, I'm not going to. I might just put a few more buildings down. Like these modern houses. Oh my god. Okay, actually, that doesn't really have... That's not really a Halloween-y vibe, is it? Nah, I don't... Nah, I'm not going to use those. Um, what other buildings, though? Anything new that we could potentially put in? Cooling towers? No, not really. Spooky radio tower in the woods, maybe? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just going to chonk that in there, because why the hell not? I feel like a spooky radio tower in the woods will do, won't it? Uh, right, what else? Primary school cinema. A spooky university. Ooh, my god, that's quite big. That is quite big, actually. It could, it could be the university where, you know, all the teenagers have come from, ladies and gentlemen. If we just chonk it in over here, maybe, if we can. Uh, will it go in, though? Ah, yeah, fuck it. Yes, it will. Oh, yes. Universities. The most spookiest things. Actually, no, I'm going to fucking take that out of there. It looks stupid. <laughs> Just a fucking giant-ass university. Or a spooky hotel. Ooh. We haven't thought of that now, have we, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. We have the spooky hotel. Right there. Haunted by the ghouls and ghosts of friggin', you know, yonder yesteryear, yonder yesteryear or whatever. <laughs> Uh, it's like the, uh, the Overlook in The Shining. See, there's another fucking movie. Classic horror. Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Never actually watched it. I've read the Stephen King novel, though, that's based on. You know, that's like a real hipster thing of me to say, actually, that, isn't it? Oh, yes, I, I read the Stephen King novel. <laughs> uh, I'm a literary elitist or whatever. Uh, I think, actually, we could uh, maybe chunk some more of these in as well. I kind of like the fairy light arches, just because of how colourful they are in this game. They always look very pretty. Oh, God, that's not right. Hold on. Try that again. Shit, that went too far. There we go. Over. Yes, I have read, actually, a few of uh, Stephen King's books. One that I always sort of find myself coming back to, which is always kind of interesting, because um, it's not a book that is regarded as one of Stephen King's best, but it certainly is one that I personally find really interesting just for the themes in it, is uh, from a bu uh, Buick 8. You ever read that one, ladies and gentlemen? The one about the uh, Pennsylvania police who find that strange car that they think is like a basically some sort of like a portal to a uh, strange alien universe. I actually find myself going back to that one a lot. I'm just rereading it. And like I say, it's not one of Stephen King's best, but there is something about it that I do just really enjoy reading. I think it's because it's very surreal. It's quite unsettling in places. It's just that theme in it of just, um, well, 
the theme that basically not everything has an easy answer. Which I think is uh, done sort of well, actually, in that book. That's the thing, you know. Quite often when you write a story which has that kind of theme of, oh, there's no convenient or easy answer, you know, it's unexplained and all that, people and critics can be sort of torn on it in terms of it can sometimes end up feeling like the author has just kind of made a bit of a cop-out. The author has just said, oh, it's unexplained as a way of trying to maybe avoid having to admit that maybe they themselves don't have an explanation for it. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, I can sort of see where that's coming from. Fucking fly in my room, good lord. Get out of here, you little insect bastard. There we are. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I enjoy it for what it is. It's because it's also got that kind of Lovecraftian vibe to it. Something that maybe, you know, we as mere humans can't comprehend. So, yeah. It's always interesting, ladies and gents. Fuck it, I'm going to put a few couple of unfinished houses along here. The spooky houses that were never finished, ladies and gentlemen. What strange places. <laughs> oh, fuck, I keep pressing the wrong button and deleting it by mistake. Uh, right, get rid of that. There we go. Uh, need to put more jack-o'-lanterns down, don't I? Near the old hotel. Let's get a few of them in here, actually. Like this. And there we are, that'll do, won't it? A couple of them in there. Maybe another one sort of over here. Another couple, rather. Um, yeah. Chunk them down. This is coming together actually just nicely, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Hmm. Sip tea whilst I'm at it. Now, actually trying to think, um, how many Stephen King books have I read? Quite a few of them. Obviously, I've read The Shining. I've read um, the sequel to The Shining, Doctor Sleep. I've read Carrie, From a Bouquet, Dreamcatcher, Duma Key, Firestarter, The Dead Zone. Um, the one, I forget the exact title because it's a date, but it's about a guy who goes back in time to try and prevent the killing of JFK. I've read that one. So yeah, I have read uh, a decent few of them, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, let's do us for our little Halloween map, ladies and gentlemen. Shall we get into our tram over here? Yeah, we shall. In fact, no, we're not done, because what we could actually do is have a train platform with some people who can get onto our tram, come to think of it. Uh, right, passengers, platform over here. Is this the one that works? Yeah, it is. The one with the green arc around it. Um, let's get a little cohort of teens who can come for a ride on our uh, <laughs> on our tram when we eventually pull it up at the station. Uh, we'll get some lights down by it actually as well. And I think we'll, um, we'll use some slightly different lights to the ones I've been using. Fucking fly, I see you. What are you doing, you little shit? All right. Um... Put one of those like that there, one in there, uh, one there, one there. Yeah, that keeps it nice and lit, doesn't it? Uh, a few more jack-o'-lanterns, please. Just facing the platform from the other side, like that. There you go. Maybe chunk a few of these down actually here with this building, just because. Why not, eight? There we go. Bit of extra decoration. All right, tram times a go. So I'm assuming they can just get onto this thing, I would imagine. All right, we're moving, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, don't know what the left and right necessarily does, but there you go. There we go. I've got to remember, <laughs> always got my little uh, thingy bobber. All right, so we're going through our green tunnel. Can't really see much, but hey, all right. Now slow down, ladies and gentlemen, as we uh, pull into the old station. We'll get to our Freaking teenagers get them, but oh, some of them have got hoodies. I didn't even realise. Oh, wait, that's backwards, what am I doing? There we go. Hey, they can get on. Are they all getting on? Yeah, it looks like they are. Oh, they're not going to sit down, of course. They're all just going <laughs> to stand there towards the back like that. All right, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to uh, the slasher cabin in the woods? The spooky campsite? Spooky hotel? All right, well, there's only one station on this map, but that's fine. All right, let's get to... Uh, Going up at a nice speed. There we are. Oh, <laughs> there's them. <laughs> a spooky little campsite. Lovely. Get a bit more speed on. And as we come up to the spooky hotel through our light tunnel now. Hey! Nice. That's always nice. Oh, Jesus. 
we are uh, <laughs> turning very much quite rapidly. Okay, we're going up to the first of the corkscrews. Here we go. Well, the main corkscrew, I should say. And there we are. And then, of course, we come to the weird sort of wibbly-wobbly set of corkscrew things off in this direction. Hey, you get a nice big view out over all of it from up here, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Feels like maybe I should put more buildings down in the middle or whatever, but, well, what can you do, eh? Oh, Jesus. Uh, here's the weird sort of... <laughs> God, it feels like we're going to go off the edge at this rate, doesn't it? Good Lord. Jesus. All right, here's the uh, cabin in the woods. More teens on their road trip. There they are. And around. Now through via the spooky mansions. Ah, oh, the light show tunnel is always so nice. And here we go through the Halloween village. Over here. With all its jack-o'-lanterns. I should have done more straights. Rather than all this constant bending and turning. And we're back at the thing, alright. We'll uh, leave the old tram to just go on its path, like so. <laughs> there it goes. Ah, <laughs> oh, time since I say 40 minutes. Oh, now, I like how that's now got a friggin' arrow on it for some reason. How curious. Yeah, well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a uh, little uh, tracks, the train set game, Halloween special. What the? Heck. Oh, is it the sound of it? Oh, it's going through the friggin' area just past the hotel. You can see the light flashing up in the distance there. Yeah, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. I certainly did. It's always nice to come back to this game and play it. Wait, wait, wait. I've just realised something. Before we do anything else, I just realised there was something else, actually, I could have put in here. Because I'm pretty sure I've put some in last time. Where is it? Where is... Was it on here? Was it on the tab? This, this tab? Maybe it wasn't. Right, actually, no. We're not going to finish yet. Because I've just realised there's more we could do. We'll get like a spooky blimp coming over. <laughs> yeah, ooh, ee, ah, no, hold on, let me go up like this. What we could actually do is uh, just have a big spooky, spoop, spoopy, spoopy blimp flying over here. Actually, is there like a more Halloween coloured one? Uh, that's not really a Halloween colour, is it? If I get, like, an orange one... Yeah, fuck it, blue. Blue will have to do. Was there not a flying saucer in this game somewhere? Because I've just realised we could have, like, a spooky alien landing site or something like that. Oh, was there really not... Oh, was it here on the sci-fi? This is where... It, UFOs, you see? We could always have, like, a crash UFO in somewhere, couldn't we? Maybe, uh... Maybe sort of, like, down here at the base of, um... The base of the big uh, corkscrew there. Yeah, that works. Okay, tram's coming back round. We get some aliens actually near it, couldn't we? And then we could have some UFOs up above. That probably work very well because we have got aliens, haven't we? Little aliens. Do we not have aliens? Are they back under sci-fi again? They probably are. Uh, jagged rocks. Could have put some of these jagged uh, rocks in here, couldn't I? Actually, something a bit spooky like that. You see. Uh, Jagged Rock number one. Okay, sorry, I know I was about to sort of wrap up, but we're actually not going to. Uh, asteroid, fire asteroid, crater? Ooh. Oh, God. Jesus, that's... No, that's way too big. Uh, where is... The... Oh, robots. Angry robots. So you could have angry robots and aliens in suits and all kinds of stuff. Okay. All right. Sprinkle a few of these little boys around here. Like this. They're all sort of facing the wrong direction. But never mind. God dang it. Oh, there we go. Some of them are now facing the right way. Um, what about aliens in suits as well? Oh, didn't want that one there. Yeah, I could have a few of them in like the little space suits too, couldn't we? Like this. A sprinkling of them. <laughs> it's the weird little landing site, ladies and gentlemen. The truth is out there. All right. They've got like their little robot pack just off to one side. Ready to exterminate the humans, if need be. Right, now that we've done that, what we can then do is um, get some actual airborne UFOs up here as well. I think that'll probably uh, look quite good. Uh, now, a bit like this. It's the alien battle fleet <laughs> coming in. Coming in to take over the Earth, ladies and gentlemen. And there's just an observer observing blimp as well. Alright, there we go. That looks better. 
There you go. See, that's just another little Halloween addition right there. Right, if I go into my tram, where am I? Oh. Oh, it fell off the... Oh, no. Wait, why is it not quite on the track? What's that about? What's happening? I think... Oh, God. I think... Whoa. I think the tram's bugged out. It seems to be uh, having a bit of an issue, doesn't it? Ugh. Okay, get back on the track. Okay, it seems to be a bit stuck. Yeah, it seems to have um, <laughs> glitched out on here. It's come off the track, ladies and gentlemen. That's unfortunate. It means we're not going to be able to take it for a spin through our little uh, UFO field over here. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Now is the time, I think, that we'll... Uh, wrap this episode up here. So, hope you enjoyed, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you'll join me for some more bonus content on the channel soon, whether that's tracks or something else. Facebook 100 links down below, along with the links to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And of course, uh, do have a happy Halloween, everybody. Goodbye, all. We've got to be on the bridge now. This is a freaking ship's wheel over there. Oh, yeah. That must have just come out over there, actually, as well. All right. All right. There's a... Um, yeah, it's this. That doesn't go anywhere. Well, actually, it's about to be trapped on and maybe opens up. Oh, we might need to pull the block out, actually. Come to think of it. Alright, hold on. Let's have a look around here, see what the deal is. Uh, is this. Oh, ammo. There's ammo over here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Also, pistol stuff. We've got the enemy, so just leaving everything around for me to find. Okay. God, where are we now? It's just a wonky mess, isn't it? Well, it is a shipwreck. Oh my god!